So here is the final character. We've now finished texturing and optimizing the geometry. So I'll just quickly go over the different changes we've made on the model and optimizations that were required. So starting with the geometry, I've added loops for the suspenders themselves. So they flow better when animated and there are no big distortions. Uh, I've also extruded the top of the suspenders because it will help the silhouette and also the bottom also adding some extra loops so we get a more rounded effect and not such an obvious low quality character uh, also fixing small things like making sure the feet are flat on the ground also at zero zero so if I put the grid you can see the foot both feet are flat on with the top and the back. Also, because of the way eyes close, I've had to put a new loop. So before we only had one loop on the eyes, and now we have two extra loops. So when the eyes close, they actually go around the eye itself without any clipping. And I closed off the tie itself so that. If we see from an angle like this, we would not miss any geometry. There wouldn't be any holes. So it right now it's using the same texture as the front. If somehow we have to animate the texture, then I would have to think about something else. Going to the texture work, I've gone in and did some changes overall, tweaks here and there. So for the hair, I've added the strands into the normal map so we get a much nicer reflection going on in the model. I'm going to open the model too so you can see. So this is the model in the asset viewer. This is not the same as in game with lightning so we should also do a check once we have the game running to see how that model actually looks in game. But for now we can have a sort of an idea of how it looks so we can see the strands now have a bit of three-dimensionality on the specularity. Uh, the hands, I had to make a dark map for them, the same with the head, so we get the connection between the hands and the shirt darker and it's more realistic than the same with the head, so if you look at the hair and the head, you have some darkness going around, which allows for everything to merge better, and the same with the head and the shirt, it's slightly darker here. Also because the head and the hands are a default that we use throughout this character, we had to make it as a dark map. So this means that we'll make a different one based on what costume he'll be wearing. Also, going to the textures, I changed the color because there were some... We were getting a sim on the previous videos going on here very obvious and since this is a white surface with no detail and a very simple shading it was really obvious there was something wrong going on in here so I've opened up the top of the shirt and the seams are now on the front which is actually where they exist in real life so you don't notice them also the seams themselves of the shirt were all centered like you'll see on a previous video they were centered so they match the end of the UV map extra loops on the geometry so the curve is smoother otherwise this would be too too blocky on the edges and also on the suspenders so there are some extra loops that one extra loop here for the suspenders an extra one here for the suspenders and for the shirt itself and the only one here on the back but always ending as soon as possible so the arm keeps the only ones they need. I might have to put ones later on once the model goes into animation but that's something we'll take a look at later on. Also the geometry on the hands since the planes are so so simple there was no need for the normal map 
so that one was removed, but we got a really nice AO pass that allows us to still have an overall shape of the hand, even on the interior you can see you still get this effect going on. Also some extra color was added on the face to make it more alive. The previous color was really really simple and very toned down. So this makes the character just that more alive. Also I went in and I cleaned up the normal maps. So when you do it in Photoshop you should understand how a normal map works. So each channel represents a different effect in terms of color information. The red channel is from left to right, the green channel is up and down, and the blue channel is depth. So when you jump between each channel you can kind of understand what they're doing to the image and what kind of value they represent. So if you go directly to the channel, you pick up the colors in the grayscale in that channel and you paint them over, you'll automatically be creating a normal map that will define what you exactly want. So in this example I painting, I ended up getting a bright green tone that represents the inside of the arm without shirt. Since it's low res, while in some angles it looks good, sometimes when you turn you get a bit of hard edges like this, which if you look at the mesh you can see it's because there's a an edge turning. There's a couple of ways you can fix this. We can go into the mesh itself and we can turn the edge and it should sometimes improve. So as you can see by turning the edge it cleaned up a lot. This is something we should always do once we're finished. Go over the edges and see any edge that needs turning. I've also added something while I was painting and I could, only once I saw the final result did I notice was I've added some more specular to the suspenders so they pop out more. They were quite flat before. And also some tone work. So there's some orangey going on here to compensate for the for the curve of the shirt that's very prominent on the concept art and some darkness where the shirt folds that was in the AO pass. Also small details on the suspenders like to make sure that there's a nice specular going on on the metal areas so when you rotate around you get this nice specular which this viewer is not the best but you can still see a bit of it and maybe this could even be extruded a bit later on so when we see from this angle this would come out a bit so this is it for this tutorial I hope it was useful and I hope you guys learned like crazy and didn't fall asleep too many times and I hope you guys will make amazing models from now on and that's it thank you for listening and watching